up guys and welcome back. I'm Pope John Paul and we're here with another 1212 AD battle for you. This is the Battle of Grunwald, Grunwald as you probably read in the title. Um, it's a huge 30,000 uh, man battle is this one um, sent in by one of the subs uh, of the channel. And Battle of Grunwald took part on, in the first, in the Polish-Lithuanian uh, war against the Teutonics um, in 1410. So it's also known as the First Battle of Tannenberg, which is probably how it's more famously known. But this, yeah, look at the size of this these armies. I mean, the Teuton, Tru, oh god, Teutonic Order looks huge. I mean, all in its glistening white. I mean, as I say that, I find some guys that aren't so glistening white. But I mean, it looks insane. I mean, there's probably going to be a bit of lag. I won't lie, because the armies are absolutely huge. Um, it will be a small miracle if my PC does not burn and crash and all sorts. Um, it is going to be a long one by the looks of it, um, so do strap yourselves in guys, um, get some snacks and a drink and uh, prepare for some, well, epic battles. Uh, it already looks like there's been some casualties, probably some cannon fire or something like that. There are strangely cannons in this, I'm not sure if there was actually at the battle. But um, some Lithuanian knights have taken some casualties. And we are on double sized units, so that's how we've got 30,000 men. So, like, cavalry units are now 120, infantry units are 240. Um, I think artillery are the only thing that are s the same size as they were before. Um, still with their basic 4 and 30 crew. Um, and maybe even generals, they might. I don't think generals were more than 75. They may be. I'm not sure. But, um,. Yeah, I think these guys are just about getting into position. I'm pretty sure they're ready, but I'm not really sure. I mean, the, this looks like Poland here, just sneaking through the forest. Looks like there's going to be a huge forest fight that's going to happen here. And there's going to be a, a huge for, uh, huge field battle here between Lithuania and one of the Teutonic armies. So, hopefully, um, we will be able to uh, start this battle soon. Um... I'd just like to say thank you to all the support uh, recently on the channel. We're now up to 950 subs as I speak about, uh, as I speak. Um, just like to say so much appreciated um, and just keep it up. If you're new around here, do like, subscribe and comment uh, to join the Papal Legion. And yeah, let's let's try and hit a thousand subs. I think we can do it. I'm pretty sure it's, uh, it's, it's doable. It's just what, what's doable, we'd see whether we get through this battle. Is that more casualties? No, they've just, it's the same amount of casualties. Okay, right, I think I'm going to make, uh, just fast forward to it a little bit. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Just like a, as I speak, an artillery shot goes off. And you can see, we're going to need a lot of people to die um, to save this lag. Because that is a pretty bad lag. I may do some bits in uh, for, um, fast forward, but I don't know. We'll see. It looks like there's going to be a huge push here from the Teutonic Order. They've got a lot of mit Bruder. Okay, some artillery being returned now by Poland um, on the mit Bruder here. It's a, a heavy cav unit. Very good target to hit. I mean, I, but I imagine both armies will be aiming for cavalry because, well, cavalry are just insane in this in this mod. But I mean, yeah, these guys. I mean, not like the typical Teutonic Order. Not in their black and white. They are in all colours. And here we go. This Teutonic army is going into the forest. I'm pretty sure, I'm not actually sure in history who wins it. I probably should have looked. Um, but I think it, I think the Teutonic, uh, the Teutonic order do win. I could be wrong. No, it's, I've just checked. As, uh, as I speak, it is a Polish-Lithuanian victory. So in history, the alliance the Poland and Lithuania does win against the Teutonic Crusaders. Uh, whether that will be repeated, who knows? I mean, they do have the uh, the forest defense here, but whether they can use it to their advantage will will be seen. Did that? No, they they did not break. They just lost a few more men. I mean, they're going to be a huge cavalry charge here between uh, the Ritterbruder, which are the classic guys in black and white. Look at this, a sea of black and white. It looks amazing. And then some more Ritter Bruder back here, I imagine. What are these? Yeah, more Ritter Bruder. 
Then we have Samlander Swordsman. I've not actually seen some of these units. Um, what have we got? Fushnecked Spearman. I mean, I'm not going to go through the entire com uh, army comps because that will take forever because these armies are huge. But we are getting there. I mean, it's just, let's just quickly fast forward. Quickly fast forward. I think all it is is artillery. They're still trying to get into position. This is pretty. This is a uh, going to be a slow one. I have a feeling, like as I've already said. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Cavalry charge number one of the day. I, I think it's some boyars. Are these uh, Lithuanian bo Lithuanian knights going in against some Ritterbruder? I think, looking at the armor just on them, that the Ritterbruder will come out on top. These uh, these Lithuanian knights are pretty light armor compared to the rest of them, and they're already flanking them. There are some Lithuanian knights here though to mop them up. Jesus, this is there's so much shaking and lag. There's just so much. Uh, there's not there's so much going on. I do apologize. Uh, the, they do have some reserves though to the Lithuanians. I mean, yeah, as you can see here, they're already losing. Like uh, these are all oh, these are small inks boyars. These are slightly different. But, I mean, these guys, yeah, these guys are just, like, more like melee cav, and they're, they're just getting out, out overwhelmed and outclassed. They're sending in some Axemen, though. Um, so that will definitely turn the tide in their favor. Certainly be able to cut down some horses with their huge axes. I mean, just look at the shields in their back. They look awesome. Now they're sending in some more cavalry into this gap here to catch these guys out. This is a good, good little move here, Lithuanian Knights. This when your knights actually seem to be able to hold against the Ritterbruder and actually routing them in this over here. Poland and uh, the other Teutonic army are yet to engage, but so we'll stick here. But, I mean, it looks like it's just turning into a huge cavalry battle, which I think Lithuania is just about winning. I mean, I say that, but they are losing on that far flank. It's who it depends who can really get their infantry in first, uh, like their spears, and really do some damage. Like I mean. They've got some uh, cavalry in there. Uh, some in of course they've got some cavalry in there. There's a huge flipping cavalry line poke. They've got some swords in there. That's what I was trying to say. But I mean, these guys will be helpful, but they're not going to be as effective as some spears, which we've handed to get in there right now. Um, sounds like there's some ambushing going on over here. So maybe Poland's invaded. Uh, invaded. Has uh, attacked. It does look like there's going to be some, there's some skirmishing, but that is about it. Some artillery still going off as well. Looks like the Axemen, lots of Axemen getting in here. Ducal Heavy Axemen getting in for Lithuania. Um, they will be like their, the, uh, their version of the Spears. Um, they're going to be the most effective unit getting into this cavalry engagement. Um, lots of armor piercing and be able to cut down a lot of these Lithuanian cavalry. Not Lithuanian cavalry, Teutonic cavalry. If they're cutting down Lithuanian cavalry, um, then they're doing something wrong. But we will see what happens I think it's gonna just end in just a massive sort of slog here not gonna be a lot of I mean there's not much room this these armies are huge they haven't got much room to flank I mean there is a huge area here which they need someone could commit some cavalry they have some spare cavalry now I mean both sides do to fa in fairness Lithuanian heavy knights uh, some Lithuanian knights Mitter Bruder here from the other army coming across interesting move committing all his, uh, all the cavalry here, but it, there is a huge target here of uh, crossbows, Duke of crossbows, which could be attacked. Um, will Poland send their knights in to save um, their ally? Yes, here they come, these Polish knights. Glorious. I mean, there's just a sea of infantry currently now. I mean... I do apologise. I'm. Pro I may have to turn down the settings if it ca if it carries on being like this. But I mean, like if you go in there, look at that. If I just zoom in, it's just disgusting. But I mean, as soon as I zoom out, like we can move around pretty nicely. Oh, here we go. Let's just uh, we'll put on the HUD so we can actually see what's going on. If I don't zoom in as much as I can, so you can tell. So the red is the Teutonic Order, and the yellow and blue is Poland and Lithuania. But here we go. So there's a Mitter Bruder going in against the Polish, Polish Knights. I've not really played as either of these factions, like uh, any of these factions, massively so far. So I don't really know who's um, 
strongest part. I know, obviously, the Teutonic Order have some very strong cavalry. I mean, so does Poland. Lithuania is possibly the once weakest off on its cavalry, but it seems to be holding well with these uh, Axemen supporting. But they are starting to break over here. And they have the Archer support, and they're still breaking. Showing how strong these Ritterbrood are. Yeah, the Lithuanian Knight's not faring so well. Oh, some good shots coming in here from the, from some archers in the background. Some Livonian Order crossbowmen. I don't know if they've hit anything yet. Oh, they've hit a few. They've got kill about ten. And they're going to be weakening all the others. You can see they're all bloodied up now. That's perfect. It allows them to uh, be even weaker for when they go in against the Teutonic uh, cavalry. I mean, it looks like um, all the Lithuanian army is getting mobilized now. They are in some serious trouble. They have spears hidden here now against this Mitter Bruder. Which, I mean, just by sounding like it, it sounds like it should be like medium cab, but it's really not. I mean, they are heavy cabs. They look pretty beefy. These guys just aren't... I don't know, they're just not in black and white, so I guess maybe they're just not as elite. They're just not like... But and it's now very confusing who's who, because the Polish cavalry's in here, and it's also in red. So I can't really tell. But, hey, we'll work it out. But, I mean, here we go, some black and white boys. Here they come. Very slowly because of all the lag. I do apologize. I'll be apologizing at least half a dozen more times before this battle is over, I'm sure. But we've had plenty of spears, lots of halberds. Um, they are certainly going to help in uh, killing a lot of cavalry. Just what you need. I mean, barely anyone's died. Like, I mean, looking at the uh, kill kill count, it looks like more uh, Teutonic Order have died than... Um, than Polish and Lithuanians, but I'd say that the balance power is ever so slightly, possibly in um, the Teutonic Order's favour. I mean, they did start with a larger army ever so slightly. Um, not sure if that is in history that they had the larger army. Um, I would have thought they had a, the smaller but more elite army, just because they're a crusader army, but who knows. We'll, li li we'll dive back into the... Uh, into the the death and destruction that is this this slog in the front line. Don't even know if many cavalrymen are dying. But um But it is just disgusting. I mean look at that, look at that. The sun just bouncing off all this armor. I would not have wanted to fight this one. It would have been a very laggy uh, battle I imagine. Let's let's see if this guy can get some kills. Let's see if this uh this chap in the back here can kill this cavalryman. But it already looks like men are giving up and breaking for the lives. Where are they breaking? Over here. Okay. Oh, wow. There's a huge break by Polish Knights. And it looks like it's going to be some sergeants breaking as well. So, I mean, looks like a huge problem here. It looks like artillery is possibly doing some damage to the Mitter Bruder. But, I mean, it also quite possibly is just doing damage to their own troops and causing them to break. I mean, it's a huge standoff here in the forest as well. It doesn't look like either side really wants to engage and commit its troops. They're quite happy just to skirmish themselves out, and they are breaking them. Does it seem like it doesn't take a lot to break you? But, I mean, you can now see there's a lot of breaking going on in this front line. Um, by both sides, really. Well, mainly, actually, uh, Lithuania. But, I mean, there is a bit of breaking now by the Teutonics. It looks like they have isolated this unit, and they are going to cut it down with those Axemen. But the longer those axes are in combat, the more kills they're going to get, and the more cavalry that are going to die. I don't know if it's even worth taking the cavalry out now, because it's going to be just starting to break if it just does. I mean, huge, another break here by both sides, but I mean, it doesn't look like much is, like, really turning the tide. It's just going to be who can put in more troops and keep supplying them uh, with reinforcements. The longest. Which, I mean, currently looks like, I don't know, the Teutonic Order is running out of stuff to send in. It's got this, and this is about it. Like, I, they've got this army over here, but, I don't know. I mean, this, uh, in fairness, like, Poland and Lithuania are kind of, um, are merging their forces together. And it's kind of hard to tell where the Teutonic Order army is, but, hey, who knows. I 
I mean, you can see the carnage. I mean, these these halberds now are going to just like hopefully rip to shred this cavalry. We need some death ha to happen so we get some uh, we get some more frames. But the men have rallied, and that's fine. And now you can see the Teutonic Order has broken through the uh, the main battle line and is now in the rear and is causing some havoc. And it's going to have to set... Uh, Lithuania looks like he's going to have to mobilize his swords to keep them in place. Jesus. The enemy has found our concealed units. It's laggy. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to have to zoom out a bit. I do apologize, guys. It is very laggy. I just... I don't want it to crash. It's already crashed only once. Just because of the sheer amount of men. Right. Let's see. I mean, okay, they're sending in crossbows. I don't know if this was a mistake or something because they still have ammo. I'd have kept these guys like, like, I know they're pretty beaten up, but like they've got ammo. That's like men they can kill. They're, like they're not going to do much damage. These Pavi's crossbows. Actually, with the, the Levy crossbows fighting Pavi's crossbows, yeah, they're not going to do much good. You're fighting someone with a huge shield. Yeah, this uh, Teutonic army seems a lot more passive than the other. I don't know if this is kind of part of the roleplay. I'm not really sure. But, I mean, they really should need to just get in there and just start killing some people. Like, because I think the other Teutonic army is doing work. Like, they are in the back lines now, and they are killing a lot of people off. Like, they're now breaking these Ducal Heavy Axemen. These guys are surrounded, and they're going to get killed. I don't know. They're already breaking it, and they've only lost 30 men. That is insane. But, I mean, you can see there's a lot of cavalry here breaking. Um... I mean, they're raiding a lot of bolts down, in fairness, though, on this whole just area. Let's just, let's go in and dare go in. But there we go. And it's not looking too good for the Lithuanian army over here. More halberds getting up ready to uh, mobilize against this huge thick line of like Lithuanians trying to hold back stuff. I don't know if they really need all these men here. How many units is this mobilized? Oh, actually it's only one. It's because it's such a large unit. I forget. Oh, huge break here by the uh, Teutonic Order. I mean, these units are pretty beaten up, but I mean they were almost through. They were almost through. But I mean, it does look like looking at like balance, um, like how they're fighting and stuff like that, losing decisively, losing decisively, losing decisively. The general's been mobilized. That's how bad it is. The Grand Duke is in there. More losing decisively. So I mean, these guys are, aren't going to hold much longer, you imagine. Um, but who knows? Poland is starting to slowly mobilize stuff. This is good to see. It does need to help its ally. It's very close. I'd say it's pretty close between the Teutonic Order and Lithuania over on the far side. Um, so, I mean, this battle is probably going to decide who wins. Because these armies are pretty fresh. I mean, already... Um, I mean, I say they're pretty banged up, but I doubt many men have died. Yeah, about 3,000 men have already died. We've got plenty more to get killed off still. I don't even know if these halberds are actually really in combat. They're barely... Yeah, they really need to get pushed up like a little bit more. Probably about another two, three feet. And then they're going to be like... Prop. They'll be in there. Because, I mean, they're still... They're still vulnerable to being shot by archers. Like, this is a pretty good target. This is an even better target. This unit here. So when they need to start shooting on these undefended uh, halberd units. Start killing these guys off. Them and cavalry. I mean, there's Mitter Bruder here is uh, falling back already. I mean, it looks like there's just so much breaking. The cavalry starting to just get exhausted and break for both sides. I mean, there's it's now swords breaking for um, uh, the Teutonic Order. The Sch Schwert Bruder. I'm definitely butchering these names. I do apologize to any Germans or Teutonic Order fans. I am butchering names left, right, and center. I know that. Out on the far right, if you're uh, the Teutonic Order. Then, looking at the Teutonic Order's perspective, then, uh, well, you can see there's not much change. They're like, the line's actually probably been pushed back from there. They've been slowly pushed back by these huge axemen. I mean, the cavalry's starting to break, though. 
They were, I mean, the Teutonic Order just doesn't have a lot of infantry. I don't think it has enough infantry. But they are now actually pushing through some... Uh, um, pole arms. I was about to say pikemen, but they're not. But yeah, they are now focusing down these guys. And these guys are just stood here. They just need to get a move on. They're just losing men unnecessarily. Such a waste. Such a waste. Just standing there. Oh, we have a bug. Oh, is he gone? Yep, yeah, no, there he is. Here he is, the floating man. Perfect. I mean, just what we needed. And now the artillery is coming in. I think that might have been friendly fire. I think that might have been the, the throwing artillery or the Polish artillery over there. And it's just probably just hit its own men. It did land just short. And that one's also short. Oh, God. That's, yeah, those artillery. Oh, God. Yeah, they all hit. They all hit, you type all the men. Yeah, and that's breaking their own men. Never a good sign. Um, actually, no. That's not breaking their own men. Well, if that one did aim short, then that has broken their own men. But, I mean, these other spearmen aren't just about holding. And, wow, lots of breaking over here on this far flank now. Wow. Um, we have more pole arms breaking. We have, well, everything breaking, really. Cavalry, crossbows. I mean, there's so much Polish stuff over here on this flank. It's just... There's just no way they're going to break through all this, I don't think, the Teutonic Order. They just... They can't. They've got... Um, Polish is well defended. It's just in this forest. What an insane line. There's not even much for me to say. You just gotta watch and just watch this slog just take place. How did they fire on the move? This is a crossbow. <laughs> but in they go. In they go. A major break here. That is actually huge. 227. That unit's basically fresh, and it's breaking. I wonder what caused that. The general's not died, has it? He quite possibly has, actually. I'm not sure. Oh, he's getting focused down, I'll tell you that. It's going to be a general snipe. Yep, there you go. He's just got killed. Just been killed. Rip in peace. That is actually going to be devastating for Lithuania. I Yeah, they're lost. this entire flank's gone. I mean, some Polish knights are just about holding. But, I mean, yeah, this is gone. They now have full reign of this whole flank. This is going to be nasty. Put it like that. Yeah, and now Poland's running. Wow, this is... They need to kill one of the Teutonic, arm, uh, Teutonic generals quickly, but he's well and truly safe at the back. Maybe snipe him with some artillery. I mean, I don't know if they're allowed to. It's a bit dishonorable, but this is war. You've got to do what needs to be done. What a beautiful sight. What a beautiful sight these guys are. They really need to get a move on. They're just standing there. It's not going to be good for their health. They're just going to get sniped by, out by crossbows. I mean, both sides, to be fair, are going to be just sniped out by crossbows. Imagine if you just, like, had you, yeah, you, a crossbow's, like, going to shoot at you directly, and you have your shield up like that. You want it, like, face down. Really. Everyone's using crossbows. They're not going to shoot it up in the air. And you, the only thing that's going to be, like, arcing down is uh, artillery, which you're not going to stop with a shield. Idiots! Like, look at these guys. They got it. They got it right. They got their their shields like down, ready, ready. Like these guys could right now could just prod them with their spear because they have their shield in the in the air because they're scared of a few crossbow bolts, which are probably not going to come at you. Like they're going to come straight at you. It's like it almost looks like a gun. You fire it direct. You fire it straight. You don't really fire it with an arc or too much of an arc anyway. Let's see what, like, if they can break through on this side, because this will be huge if they can, but it looks like this is where Poland's winning the battle, and this is where they're going to be able to, they're going to have to change the, the, uh, the balance. I mean, it's still very, very close. I'd say the Teutonic Order is just about in the lead. Um, 
well, it is in numbers anyway, and it is just about because uh, it's killed a general. So there is going to be uh, a lot of breaking going on here from Lithuania, I imagine. Their, their morale is basically being held together by some sticky tape. And some very, it's very old sticky tape, but it's like, you know, covered in like hairs and stuff like that. But you've used it maybe the third time or something like that. I don't know. Don't know what, why you'd be using sticky tape for, three, for a third time, but hey. You do you. You weird people. Yeah, so we've got a great standoff here. Um, looks like Lithuania is not wanting to engage anyone. It's rather be happy just to stare them out and hope that they die of boredom. Um, Poland's, this unit here, like, for, this sergeant unit here has been breaking for the entire battle. I don't think they really wanted to turn up. I mean, it does look like, I don't know why it's got, they've got so much cavalry here. They just need to send this cavalry and just send it in to, like, kill these ducal crossbows. Because, look, they're just getting murdered. These Mitterbruder are getting murdered. These guys have come from, like, I'm pretty sure they came from that side of the battlefield. They've crossed the entire battlefield, and they're now just getting shot like they're fish in a barrel. I mean, they've still got some cavalry as Lithuania, but it's like some boyars, which are not the, which are their weaker cavalry. But here we go. I think they're going to send the Mitterbruder in. Is it going to make it? Is the lag going to kill them, kill them first? There we go. There's some charging. They've managed to silence one unit. Maybe make that two. Yeah, there's about two unit silence. They really need to silence all of these guys. Because they're getting absolutely peppered to those cavalry. I mean, the, that's the only reason why this flank's still kind of intact for the allies, if we call them the allies. Because it's easier. But, I mean, I mean, it's barely intact. They are now mobilizing the rest of the cavalry, which is a lot more fresh. I mean, they have. Certainly, this unit's pretty fresh. That unit's pretty fresh. And they've got their general, which is definitely fresh. But, I mean, they are running out of other stuff. Certainly, infantry. Infantry is a problem here for the uh, for the Teutonic Order. And most of their infantry is pole arms. That's like left over here. They don't. I can't see many swords. There's a lot of pole arms, a lot of spears, not many swords. Um, so we'll see what happens. I mean, they're, they're then going to be very easy to flank, which is their only problem. I mean, and kill. I mean, same with swords. You can do just about it'll be the same effect as swords. But I mean, pole arms will definitely break quicker than swords if surrounded. Um, spears may hold if they certainly have the ability to form square or like shieldron. They could probably hold forever, actually, if they were in a shieldron. You're just going to carry on standing and looking at each other. Like, come on, guys. Just actually fight. Like, these guys, they've got it right. They know how to fight. I mean, this is a huge force. This isn't breaking anytime soon, whether they've got a general or not. More pole arms here. These guys are holding back the spears quite well, keeping their formation. They're sending these pole arms to combat the other pole arms. Give themselves a chance in that battle. But, I mean, it... I don't know if they're actually being flanked. No, they're just about... They're just about okay. They're sending their artillery... Their crew. That's a... Uh, that's a good sign for uh, Lithuania and for Poland. That they've run out of artillery ammo. Um, not a good sign is that these uh, Polish cavalry are losing decisively. And probably are going to then break. Um, and this is not a good sign. <laughs> I can say that the, these cavalry, uh, this infantry here, this dismounted Bajor. Oh god, that's an all. I'm not even going to try and say that name. But there's more of them here, and they're and they're not faring too well against this cavalry, which is no surprise. They are just getting run down. They're they're not able to form formation, the shield wall, just getting cut down. But they need to keep this cavalry. Really should just carry on moving. It needs to keep going after more crossbows. There's more ducal crossbows here after them. They've got, they managed to get swords. How do these swords get through? They've got through and silenced the artillery, though. Actually, well, I don't know. They, maybe the artillery was out of ammo. But, I mean, it's been silenced if it did have ammo left. Um, but, I mean, here we go. It looks like we're coming into... Well, I say we're coming into the final stages of this battle. There's still about 15 minutes left, apparently. There are still 18,000 men that need to die. 
But I mean, Lithuania looks like it's pretty much done for. I did have a feeling that it was probably going to be the weakest of the units, but it's done well. It's fared well. Oh, that's a good cavalry charge, which we've just missed. That was a good cavalry charge. And that this uh, lone sword unit somehow managed to break through is going to get cut down by Polish knights. It's what we like to see. Infantry getting mown down by cavalry. Which are just over OP in this game. And yeah, this cavalry is just making sure that these cross these crosswords never come back, which they are not. They're getting some free kills as well, I guess. But I mean, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. This, these small ends boyars just kind of like stood here. I don't know why these crosswords aren't firing on them. They're even cl they were close to target, and they're going to be even more of a problem. Like they're very tired. There is still a chevron unit. Like these guys need killing. <laughs> And more swords, yeah, this is this is just a big problem. They need to like, fall back on the forest or something. They need to get like their these swords possibly to like form like a wall here. Just like sort of defend the flank. I mean, it looks like Poland's breaking again. Uh, uh, well, again, m even more now on this flank. They are sort of holding though, still in the forest. And it's very much a cluster. Can't really see a lot. Lots of fighting around a tree. Well, well a couple of trees kind of why I'm focusing more on the Lithuanian fight there's a more there's more going on and you can see it like but more Samlander swordsmen going in here are they are they, they found a hole they're in against the crossbows okay wow oh yeah this is this is a problem yeah Poland is in some trouble here they I don't know why they're not flanking they just surround these guys I mean in fairness then they're open to being surrounded but they could break these sergeants I mean they are gonna break them anyway is the Poland general dead? Why any general the Polish king? I don't know. No, I think he's... This might be him. Yeah, this is him. The king's bodyguard. No, he's, he's healthy. He's full, full strength. So, I don't know why Poland's breaking so easily. Maybe it's just because the Teutonic Order's that good? Is it that good? Clearly. Clearly it is. But I mean, I don't know how Lithuania is still holding. I mean, those crossbows have just gone, as I speak. But I mean, like, I'm surprised so much still is still holding. They really need to do some more hammer and anvil as this cavalry breaks in these spears that aren't really engaging. Let's have a, another look at this engagement, bloody engagement. Would not want to be one of these swordsmen. It's just like looking up at a cavalryman and thinking, "Good God, this is how I die." Being loomed over by cavalry. I mean, yeah, they've done what I did, but they didn't do it with infantry. They've done it with cavalry, and they've made like a, a line here, and they've ready to defend. Uh, this is the Great Banner of Krakow. This is like a very elite unit. I think you can only get one unit of this. Great Banner of Krakow. That is a pretty great brand. Pretty great banner. I was about to say that's pretty. Uh, I don't know what I was actually trying to say, but I was trying to put Krakow and Banner together and it just not work. Um, but I mean, yeah, this unit's pretty damn elite. But will they beat the Ritterbruder? Like the endless hordes of them? I don't know. More Polish knights there. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the, the Ritterbruder's pretty beaten up and these are two fresh units. I mean, the Polish knights aren't, are a bit banged up, but there's a great Banner and Krakow. And I don't know, you could... They could steamroll through these, uh, the spear unit, and then they could loop round because, and then get around behind them. That would cause some chaos. Probably the best thing they can do as well. Or, I don't know, where's their general? Or yeah, or they could go for the general. The general is in a pretty bad state. Don't know why these infantry haven't gone to help try and kill him. And they could definitely turn the tide on this battle. They are trying to take but, out it, our but it looks like the, him. looks like the. Banner of Krakow is just going to happily stand behind his men and cheer him on. So yes, we can do it. But I mean, the king over here has been sent in. The Polish king has been sent in. German men at arms are in here as well. Ooh. But where's the king? Oh, that's the grand. The grand master's in here as well. Okay. Well, wow, he's level three chevron. Jesus. Um, but here he is. He's. <sighs> the Polish king is a little beaten up. I do apologize. I'm yawning. Don't know why. Middle of the day. Should not be yawning.
look at that banner. I mean, you just saw it there. That Teutonic banner is just bloodied up. That is disgusting. Been here a long time just fighting it out. But let's get a quick overview of the map. It looks like the Lithuanians have sort of stabilized the situation. They've lost this whole flank here. Um, but there's a lot of stuff breaking and they're killing still a lot of Teutonic Order. But it's massively not in their favor now. Like the Bands Party is clearly in the favor of the Teutonic Order. 8,000 to 6,000. They've opened up a, like a 2,000 man gap. Um, but... I don't know. They still have a lot of healthy units to uh, Poland and Lithuania. Certainly Poland. And it looks like the Teutonic Order is running out of stuff. Certainly running out of healthy stuff. A lot of their units that are like in the rear have just come back after breaking. Their cavalry is like all gone, I think, now. Like the Mitterbruder and the Ritterbruder. Basically worn out. I think their general is like one of their final units. The Grandmaster's bodyguard here is like one of their final cav units, along with the Shrita Bruder here. And that one. Good god, there's still Rita Bruder all over the place. These menaces. I mean, but they are fighting swords and they're not winning. They really need to send in some infantry of their own. Turn this tide. They're not even facing the right way. Oh, this Rita Bruder is dismounted. Why? That's just a, such a bad idea. You need that cow. You need those horses. Mobility. Never dismount your cavalry. If you're going to dismount cavalry, just bring more infantry. Like simple as. That's just so bizarre. More men rallying for Poland. It would seem. They just don't want to give up. They're not wanting to give in to these goddamn. Uh, Teutonic orders. Teut Teutonic order. I mean, I'm pretty sure Lithuania is supposed to be pagan. That's why the Teutonic order are fighting. I'm not sure. That's the whole pre pretense of like these wars is that they're trying to beat out paganism and bring in Christianity. But I mean, in this scenario, both all factions are pa uh, are Christian. But I mean, who knows? I think that's the reason why they they have this whole war. They just basically want to kill kill the other side because they don't support the same man in the sky. But it looks like the Teutonic Order is probably going to take this one. I mean, there's a lot... Oh my god, there's a lot of breaking here by Poland. Yeah, that's not good. These are units aren't too badly banged up. There's a lot of them are still in like half strength. And there's a lot of breaking here. Actually, that's a lot of breaking from the Teutonic Order though as well. Or a lot of wavering. They're not quite broken yet. This fight's been going on for flipping ever. Like, I mean... Just one one hammer and anvil would do the job. Get these, or get the crossbows in just to shoot them. I mean, actually no, this is great banner crack out. Oh, they're pretty beaten up now. No, what have you been doing? Have you just been getting shot? I don't know, yeah. Looks like you've just been getting sniped out in the back. Oh, God. Lack of bodies around suggests that. That's not the Great Banner, is it? No. I just saw... Oh, God. It's... We're sort of... The lag is sorting itself out a bit, but there is still a lot of men. Still a lot of men. But it's now a... There is now, like, a 3,000... Yeah, 3,000 gap now. Um, so, I mean, it's looking... It's looking pretty rough now. I mean, there's still a huge line of infantry here that's not even mobilized by the Teutonic Order. A lot of uh, Pavi Spears. I mean, in fairness, you don't want to send these guys on the advance. You want to just, like, them in the rear, probably sucking up. Well, not in the rear, but in the front line, sucking up ammo. Just defending themselves with their huge shields. But what are they facing? They're just facing some sergeants. These guys, hmm. If they slowly move them up, just to, like, just in front of them, then, um, and then maybe send some units around because they have enough troops. Like, they could probably break them. I mean, they could send one unit around this unit here. Just, I mean, that's awful for you to see. But, I mean, this unit here, send it around. Certainly could uh, maybe engage this uh, sergeant's unit. It'll certainly help break these other sergeants. I mean, they could really do immobilize some of these guys. I mean, just sucked up into this fight for, like, eternity. But, I mean, this is actually causing a lot of havoc in the back here. Like, they're winning a lot of these fights. I'm looking around, like, 
That's that one. They're winning decisively. That one, they're uh, combat even. Combat even there. I mean, against this dismounted Ritter Brood. Uh, to this day, I still don't know. They have cavalry here. The Polish knights. They need this. And they, these guys need to move. Poland needs to realise he has cavalry in the rear. It's like just being forgotten about because they can break all his uh, Pavi's crossbows. They could probably hammer an anvil most of these uh, this line and actually do some serious damage because it doesn't. I don't know where the Teutonic Order's cavalry is gone. I mean, they've got this general. But I don't know if they want to risk sending their general. And like, it's so precarious, it's just flank. But I mean, they are slowly winning. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's a huge break. As I as I said, it's so precarious, this is flank. A huge break by Lithuania. And that is definitely sealed their fate, I'm sure of it. Like, this whole flank now can just envelop the rest of this. And that's probably this area gone. Um, yeah, it's code red now for, Lith uh, for Poland Lithuania. They really need to fall back on this forest. Um, make it some sort of defense, like like I said, along here. Um, maybe sacrifice his cavalry to uh, get some infantry back. They also need to see, realize his cavalry here in the back is actually like free and able to do stuff. I know it's like being broken once, but it's still cavalry. It's still good enough to do some damage. Um, this Sandlander, Sandlander swordsman here just like. Look at all this, look at all this stuff, it's not, I don't know if this is just like part of the whole idea, they've got to break everything first in the line so they can move up, quite possibly, um, but I mean, they really need to start encircling, they really need to start encircling, like, oh, I have a feeling the king might be dead, that's why, that's why Poland's uh, in a bad state, yeah, it looks like the king might have broken, well, he's breaking, he may be dead as well, I didn't have any, there was no, the man didn't say that the, uh, that he was dead. But he may be dead soon, because he's running away. But we have nine minutes left of the battle. There's still about 10,000 men on the battlefield. I don't know what's really going to happen. I mean, well, I do. I, oh, there he goes. General is dead. I think he's died while running away. I'm not sure. But I think I have a feeling that the Teutonic Order might have this in the bag now. It was very close for a long time, but I think... I mean, this army's pretty beaten up. I don't know if they're, uh... What the, if they're gonna actually survive. It's gonna be the other army that didn't start uh, the battle initially. That's gonna certainly uh, be the one carrying the, uh... Carrying the army now, but, um... Against Poland, mainly. Lithuania is all but gone. They, they've got some units in the rear. Which they are kind of just forgetting. Which is probably not a good idea, unless they're gonna... I don't know kind of like have a front line and then a rear which is possibly a good idea but at the same time I guess you could just I don't know maybe this player's AFK or something I don't know he must be he must be AFK because he's got to engage these units these units need to engage, just need to go in and fight smart by a uh, smart by the Teutonic Order just to leave him uh, because now it's a 2v1 and it is just going to basically end the, uh, end the chances of Poland winning um, because it's a very bad Poland. But where's, is this the great, yes, the great banner of Krakow. Does the great banner still, still fly? No, it doesn't. That's not good. All hope's lost. The banner's lost. All hope is lost. Flee, Polish. There's no hope. But yeah, I mean, yeah, this is sergeant unit as well. They, they must be. I'm going to fast forward a bit because I think they might be repositioning or something. I'm not re really sure. I am not sure. Our men flee the field of battle. But more men are fleeing. There's not much engagement going on. I don't really know what's happened. Are they just kind of like having a having a break? <laughs> are they just like say, saying, it's okay, we're killing up. About 20,000 men have died. Um, let's let's just uh, have a quick break. Let's just uh, forgive each other. I mean, uh, Poland stuff. Oh no, here we go. Poland is mobilizing again. Poland is going to send in its sergeants. They are going to die because they're already wavering. Yeah, I don't know who even they're going after. Pavi Spears as well. Yeah, you're not going to break these guys. I can't even see them because of these goddamn trees. They're just actually... Just, this is so bizarre. They're walking past these sergeants. They're like, yep, yeah, it's fine. We'll just, uh... We'll just ignore them. So bizarre. Turn around. Just kill these guys. They're breaking. They're gonna die. 
yeah, I don't know, yeah, this, I don't know really what they're doing there. The Lithuanians are just, okay, yeah, I don't know why they sent this Ritter Bruder in to just try and break these, these guys. It wasn't even worth it. I think the Lithuanian must be AFK. But I mean, Poland is running out of stuff. He's got about half a dozen units left, if that. I mean, it's still half a dozen units. There's still 1,700 men, apparently. But I mean, yeah, it's like... It's 7 to 1 now, the odds. They've got units somehow back here that are just standing around. I'm just going to fast forward now, just, just to speed it up. Because there's no need to... No no real need to see what happens after the battle. I mean, the Great Banner of Krakow is going to do some gr some last great charges. Get some more kills. Do the, na do the name proud. Do Krakow proud. I mean, that's not going to do them any... Do yourself any good by charging into pole arms, though. Don't be stupid. And then they're also charging the spears. God, no wonder you lost. I'm joking. I mean, they obviously they fought hard at both sides, but I mean, crack out. Come on, don't charge into these goddamn spears. You're just gonna get yourself killed, like all these guys here. Yeah, what idiots. Um, yeah, and just like that, I think everything's just about broken so I mean I think they've just got to march oh god all Poland's gone first I didn't expect that so they're having to march over and they're gonna have to break these guys because oh this is just infuriating well let's just uh let's just hope let's just keep it fast forward and just see what happens so anyway well uh well, this is happening. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the battle. It does seem like the Teutonic Order has changed the face of history, and is uh, is going to win this one. It's going to take the day. It's going to take it. Whether they're going to start marching over and kill these guys, I don't know. Um, there is five minutes still left on the clock. I may just cut it and uh, cut it to the end end screen and show you the uh, results because. You don't really need to see these guys just get mopped up. So anyway, guys, I will see you at the end, uh, well, at the end results. So, well, it does seem that the end screen didn't appear. I did try, to, I ended the replay just to see what happened. Nothing actually did happen between the, Lithu the remaining Lithuanian forces. So, unfortunately, and I don't know why, but the, I, like, ended the replay and was like, well, okay, well, we'll see the, uh, end screen and I'll show you guys the huge amount of kills that I imagine some units got. Um, but it didn't happen. So... What a, what a shame. So uh, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that huge battle, that uh, that huge thirty thousand battle of Cronwald. Uh, and yeah, well, if you did, then please leave a like and subscribe. Let's try and get to a thousand subs. Um, well done to my computer on not killing itself um, after that huge lag fest. Um, I'll cut it short now because that will be a huge video, and I've got a lot of editing to do for that. But. Um, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, Papal Legionnaires.